season one is finally here we were gifted with two free weapons from infinity ward we're talking about the ram 7 and the holger 26 now as you can see i have the holger 26 right here unlocked at level 57 which is the max rank that it could be leveled up to now the holger is a pretty decent weapon from 5 to 40 meters it's a four shot kill and from 46 to 65 meters it's a five shot kill and just for testing sake from 70 to 75 meters it's a six shot kill now if you really want to optimize and lessen the shots to kill put on stopping power if you put on stopping power this thing is a beast at five to 65 meters out it is a three shot kill which is absolutely insane and then at 70 meters it's a four shot kill so when you think about it all you need is three shots to kill from any range between five to 65 meters and you're definitely going to drop your opponents really quickly this gun in general is actually very slow very clunky so you have to play a certain way i'm going to be honest with you guys man it's really not that great because of how slow this weapon naturally is and especially when you're competing against the mp5s and the m4a1s out there it's going to be really hard to just get your gun up in ads as fast as your opponent is however let me show you this class setup real quick for my laser i'm running the tac laser so we can increase our aim down sight speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness even if it's an lmg and you're supposed to play a little bit slow a little bit more reserved and hang back with this class setup you don't really need to do that it's actually possible to run and gun with this class setup that's why i have this attachment right here to maximize our mobility as much as possible so we can aim down sights a lot faster and just add a little bit more mobility to this weapon don't ads too long down the line of sight because that's when enemies will be able to see your laser and it's going to lead to an easy death which can be avoided all right so moving on to my optic i've got the gi mini reflex this is a personal preference i find it easier to aim in on targets when i have this sight on i actually do like the iron sights a little bit but i find it to be much easier with this reflex sight on and that may be something that you might prefer as well your aim down sight speed isn't really going to be affected at all especially with the other attachments that we put on this weapon moving on we got the no stock this one is huge as far as movement and mobility goes no other is better than the no stock because it increases your movement speed and your aim down side speed now it does have two cons unfortunately which are your aiming stability and your recoil control but to be honest you know it depends on your play style if you're using this weapon aggressively you're keeping those engagements from short to medium range you will be fine however if you're using this weapon and you're sitting at the back of the map waiting for people to pass by from long distance this attachment is not going to benefit you because why would you need that movement speed or that aim down side speed so moving on we got the rear grip which is the stippled grip tape i've talked about this so many times this is a game changer especially for this weapon because this weapon is naturally really slow and clunky remember it's an lmg when you put on the stippled grip tape it definitely does make a difference sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's an lmg because of the way i put this class setup it helps increase your aim down sight speed which is important like we were talking about just being able to ads a lot faster down your sights this attachment is definitely going to help you aim in a lot faster and fire faster after sprinting and that's very important all right so moving on this is the game changer right here this is the 30 round mags this one increases your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed now the only con is that you do notice a big dent in your magazine ammo capacity now the good thing about this attachment is that it will also speed up your reload times i have a little quick tip about reloading don't wait till you're completely out of ammo to reload because there's a difference in animation if you reload while you still have ammo left in your reserve your character will actually reload it a lot faster versus when you wait till you have zero in your ammo reserve the animation takes much longer so that's a little quick tip for you guys just to keep in mind so that's about it for the main attachments that i use on this weapon that i feel that's actually viable to use that actually made a difference and made the experience a lot more enjoyable for me while using this weapon now let's go over really quick my secondary my secondary is just a handgun you know i don't really even use my secondaries much because i'm mainly always using my primaries anyway and i never really run out of ammo so you can use whatever you want for your secondary it's all personal preference now for perks my perk one is eod it saved me from so many dumb deaths with those claymores proximity mines c4 we know how annoying that is so having eod is definitely going to save you a bunch of deaths for perk two no question you got to run ghost if you're not running ghost then you're definitely doing yourself a disservice and you're doing it wrong because it's so easy to get uavs in this game and once the enemy team gets uavs you're going to be exposed on the compass and 
and as well as the minimap. As we all know, the minimap does not work the same way that it did back in previous Call of Duties because red dots don't show up on that minimap. So what people rely on now to expose the enemy location are UAVs. So that's why we got to run Ghost because when you run Ghost, you're definitely going to save yourself a lot of unnecessary deaths and you're going to survive a lot longer. So for perk three, I'm using Tracker. I love to flank. I love to stay stealthy. I love to stick to the outskirts of the map. And when you do that, you're pretty much usually on your own and you're most likely going to be in enemy territory. Those footprints are going to be helpful, helping you find more enemies and it will give you more intel and it will literally lead you right up to the enemy. And that's why I really like Tracker. Now let's go on to my specialist bonus here. So at two kills, I'm going to be unlocking Scavenger. Now, especially with this class setup, you do run of ammo pretty quickly because we're using the 30 round mags. We're going to be reloading pretty often and soon enough, we might run out of ammo very quickly. So that's why I'm running scavenger so all i gotta do is just run over a dead person's body and i should be replenishing my ammo so i can stick to using the same gun and i'll always stay confident that i'm gonna be ready for the next gunfight that's why i like scavenger now at four kills man i see a lot of people always calling me i was like say turbo why are you using hardline when you're not even running kill streaks well if you press the show more info button it says that it reduces your specialist perk cost by one now i don't know about you but this is my preferred setup for the sequence of order that i do get my perks i want my scavenger perk first that's more important to me than getting hardline if you want to run your perk bonus specialist a certain sequence by all means do it do what works for you think about how fast you die in this game that one less kill because of hardline could be the difference maker between you getting your specialist bonus and you not getting your specialist bonus so that's why i have hardline and then at seven kills i will get all my other perks in the game including recon and the sleight of hand perk that comes with the weapon moving on to c4 c4 i cannot say enough good things with this c4 is not only fun to use but it's also convenient because it helps you take out enemies that are camping in windows and areas that you can't really reach or enemies who are trying to capture a flag so that's why i like running around with the c4 it's definitely helpful in 1v1 situations as well where you're in a 1v1 gunfight and the guy is behind some kind of wall that's protecting him and he's gonna have no idea that you're about to chuck a c4 at him and boom he is dead so that's why i like using the c4 you can even detonate it while it's in mid air and how you do that is by double tapping the square button to detonate the c4 whenever you want to while it's in mid air so that's why i like running around with the c4 it's just super convenient and it caters to my play style so for my tactical i'm running the stim shot because of my play style i like keeping my gun flights from short to medium range and i also like flanking so when you're flanking you're most likely going to come up on multiple enemies at a time and you're also likely to get hurt so in order to have more confidence in those gunfights or to get away from those gunfights i like having stim shot because it helps you in tight situations and that's why i like running stim shot so don't ever use stim shot when it's not necessary at all so please be mindful of when you're using certain equipment or tactical equipment to keep that in mind as well if you guys did enjoy today's video definitely drop a like and i would really like to hear your opinions on the holger 26 do you like it do you dislike it let me know down below in the comments i want to know your opinions for more class setups definitely check the links down below in the description if you're curious about other weapons in the game that you may or may not know what to put on your weapon i do have other videos covering class setups for other weapons as well so definitely drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you guys in the next video man peace so what's going on guys if you guys are interested and watching me play live my twitch is in the description down below make sure to hit that follow button and i hope to see you there peace hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member they're a member of the channel and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.